So Neo Vim has a feature that is called virtual text, which means this is the text that you have. It's not, not the text from your code or from your file. It is text that places Neo Vim right into your code. It can virtually be anywhere. And usually this is used for LSP messages and stuff like that, which can be a little bit cumbersome to read. It can be a little bit noisy in your code when you have a lot of, lot of errors and a lot of warnings and, and all of them are displayed as virtual text right next to your code. So what we're going to do today is we're going to fix that and where we, we get rid of the virtual text and going to install a little plugin that displays the errors only when the cursor is actually in the same line where the error happens. So in this way, we get a nice clean interface of everything. And yeah, you're going to learn today how to set this up. So what you see right here is a small little C-sharp file that is not so much code actually, but I produced a little bit of syntax gibberish and now I have all these error messages right in line next to my code. Although I'm not actually super interested to see all of this all at once and we're gonna fix that in a second. So first, let me fix the code so we don't see the error messages anymore and you see how little the code actually is, okay? So this is the actual code. <laughs> Very little, right? And again, we're gonna fix that now. So let's read the article real quick. What we wanna have is this, the solution. We want to have just the full error message just in the, in the line where the cursor actually is. We don't wanna see everything at once. We wanna see it line by line, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna install a plugin that is called tinyinlinediagnostic.neovim. This is the GitHub page for that. It's actually quite simple. It can just, the setup of the whole thing can be a little bit misleading. So when you take everything just right away, it will not work. It will not work uh, as it's supposed to be. And we're gonna fix that right now. So let's proceed in the tutorial. So we go and just step by step, we load the tiny inline diagnostic package with LazyVim, okay? So we put, as, it, as it's here, we put the code at the end of plugins in Lua. okay? So we take this, Boom, boom, boom. We go to plugins in Lua in our configuration. Plugins in Lua. And there we go and we put the code, okay? Boom, boom, boom. Next in the tutorial. Into our in Lua, we put the, the requirements for this package. Again, we just go copy that code, boom, go into in Lua. And right at the end of the init Lua file, we paste this code, okay? Next step in the tutorial, we're gonna set the virtual text to false, okay? This is, the virtual text is this one. We don't wanna see this one anymore. And usually the code to do that would be just these lines, would be vim, lsp, handlers, doop -dee -doop -dee -doop -dee -doo. And then we have virtual text false. Now usually people would put that into the chat RC Lua because the chat RC Lua is the place where you override and vChat configuration, right? So when I go back and I go to uh, chat, chat RC Lua, we will soon see that it's not gonna work. I now go and put these inside, and then I'm gonna reload the new Vim configuration. And I see both. I see both. I see the plugin that is loaded correctly, but I also see what I don't want to see. I see the inline text. I don't want to see that. So apparently the virtual text right here has not been configured correctly. So having this diagnostic settings and the virtual text to false in the chat RC is not going to do the trick. We're going to have to put it into the LSP config Lua. Okay because the LS LSP config has to be loaded before the diagnostic settings, so everything's gonna work. So that's why we put this at the end of the LSP config. After all the LSPs are being loaded, then we're gonna configure the virtual text and then it's gonna work. So let's do it right, right away. I'm now at the end of the LSP config lure. Put this inside, 
again reload the configuration. And now LSP is loaded. I provoke an error and see that? Exactly what we wanted. We don't have the virtual text anymore. We only have the plugin, nothing else. We have nice little error messages right in the lines where we want them to be. So that was it. That was the tutorial on how to get tiny diagnostics into your NeoVim configuration to have nice little error messages and warnings from LSP, message by message, and not all over the place. So you have to fight through it with a machete. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you all a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.